Okay, this is going to be the superficial and deep trunk muscles, shoulder muscles, on the, both the dorsal and ventral side, also the arm and neck muscles. So starting with the trunk muscles on the superficial deep side on the dorsal side of the rabbit, you've got your latissimus dorsi right there. You go over here, you're going to have your lumbodorsia fascia, this flap of skin that's right there. Inside of that flap of skin is going to be where your multifidus is. The longissimus dorsi is going to be this portion right through here. Then we're going to move up to the top here. This little triangle is going to be your trapezius cervical. Cervical refers to the neck region. So right there, trapezius cervical. And then you're going to have an inverse triangle right there. And that's going to be your trapezius thoracic. So thoracic cavity is over the chest. Um, so that's how you can remember that this is going to be your trapezius thoracic. Um, moving into the shoulder muscles, you can go up here. This is going to be your supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Get on this side, supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Um, superior versus inferior, that's how you can tell them apart. Um, we go into the arm muscle down here. I'm going to flip it over and looking in here. You can see this fanning right here under the arm, right there. That's going to be your serratus ventralis, and then the teres major is that portion that's right under there. So again, serratus ventralis is the fan, and then the muscle that's underneath that's right here is going to be your teres major. Now we're going to do the trunk muscles for the superficial and deep on the ventral side. I'm um, going to have the dorsal side for a second just to show you a couple things. Um, I'm going to start with the obliques. Let's go to the other side. Okay. So right here, this is going to be your external oblique that's on the outside. This is going to be your internal oblique. That's how you can tell them apart. Then we're going to move into the rectus abdominis, which is going to be the area that's right over here on the rabbit, right over the abdominal cavity, kind of close to the rectum. That's how you, our rectum is going to be close to this area in the internal structure. The abdominal abdomen is this structure, so that's how you can tell that it's kind of between the two. Rectus abdominis. Linea alba is going to be the imaginary little line that goes down the middle of the rabbit. I wouldn't be able to ask you by pointing a pin in the rabbit to identify it. If I asked you a question on it as to what is the imaginary line that goes down the middle of the rabbit, you would say it's the linea alba. Um, flipping the rabbit over, this flap of skin that's on top of the chest cavity is going to be your pectoralis superficialis this way so you can see it better. So pectoralis superficialis and then the inside portion of that is going to be your pectoralis profundus. So superficialis profundus right there. We're moving into the arm you've got your biceps brachii and triceps brachii. You do need to specify the brachii part at the end not just triceps or biceps. And then we're going to move into the neck. So we've got the masseters which are the big nodules that are going to be on each side of the neck, so right there and right there. So those are going to be the masseters. The digastricus is going to be the portion of the neck that's up here. There's going to be two, one there and one there. So those are your digastricus. The sternocephalicus is going to be the portion that's right down here on the neck muscle. The sternohyoidus and the mylohyoidus. So we've got the digastricus, the mylohyoidus, the sternohyoidus, and the sternocephalicus down here. Uh, and that's going to conclude the muscle section.